Welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. I'm going to call this video D&D &D for Detonation and Destruction. So uh, by that title, uh, there's quite a bit of damage to this motor. So um, as I was tearing this motor down, um, soon as, well, first of all, the owner told me it had a knock. So as I was tearing it down, I noticed that the number one cylinder journal was okay. The numbers, uh, well, that's one and two was okay. This is three and four. It was okay. So I'm wondering, okay, where's the knock? So I got to five and I found it. So five has a worn journal and you can see copper from the bearing has sort of welded itself to this journal right here. The bearing was flattened out. It is right here. This is the bearing off five. You can see that it's, uh, the pieces of copper are starting to come off of it and it's uh, about gone, but it had not spun yet. It was still intact. So that was number five. Then when I got to number six, I found the real damage. So if you look at number six, you can see how the bearing had spun on the crank and it wore an actual depression in this crank. There's a groove, there's a significant groove there. You can really see it on the bottom where most of the load is on the bottom. There. So you can see the step right in there, the step groove from where the uh, crank wore for number six spinning on. So right here, this damage here is a spun bearing. It's very red, it's very, there's a lot of grooves in it, and uh, it's actually metal's worn away to where it's a step down from over here. That was number six. Number seven, same thing as number five, the bearing had uh, started to uh, erode, and left, left some copper. There's a lot of heat damage on the rod. So this was, uh, this is the bearings out of number seven. You can see how the copper started to melt and bits and chunks have uh, broken off and weld themselves to the crank. But it had not spun because you can still read the back of the bearing. This is the bearings number six. As I was saying, this one spun. And by spin, what I mean by spun is that the bearing itself welds itself to the crank, holds on to the crank, and then it spins inside the rod. And when that happens, it just kind of goes back and forth and just kind of eats away at the uh, inside of the rod. And you see how the, the ridges and those lines, the, the, uh, what, the riding on the bearing is gone. It's been worn off. So this is, uh, and you can see how the heat damage has partially welded this bearing to the crank, I mean, to, excuse me, to the rod, to the rod cap. So number six piston is right here. This piston had partially seized in the bore. There's that side, you can see how the, the aluminum has uh, started to uh, melt off. And then on the other side, it was really bad. This is the uh, other side of number six. So th this piston had started to uh, seize up in the bore. And uh, it's actually kind of, it's not super smooth. It's a little bit smooth in my thumb. But um, if you, when I looked at the bore, the bore was actually pretty still smooth. It was still pretty smooth. So I was kind of surprised to see that. Inside the rod, you can see the, the, the uh, circum circumferential lines. That's from, from the spun bearing. So this rod is toast. It might could be repaired, but um, all four, all four of the rods that were on the back of this motor, um, five, six, seven, and eight, I'm going to replace due to heat damage. They got probably got overheated. You know, let's see, this is number seven. You can really see, you can see the discoloration on number seven from the heat damage. So I wouldn't trust this rod to use it again. Both on both sides. Um, number eight, also, even though this was still intact. The bearing on number eight is still there, but you can see the, this side, that's the side that was adjacent to number seven rod. And you see from the heat, the heat was starting to eat, eat over into number eight. And it, the heat was starting to take out this, uh, this bearing. The bearing's softer than the steel rod, so the bearing goes first. But that's a sign from heat damage from the adjacent rod. So that was number eight. Um, again, the rods on number five. Let me see if there's six. This was five. Oh, there's a little, you can see the heat damage right there. That rainbow color in the steel look, means heat damage. I don't see it on this side as much as I do on the other side. So this thing had a uh, significant damage inside and uh, the main bearings, even though they're, um, they're damaged, they're not, like that's your main, that's your rear main bearing. That's probably the one with the most damage right there. You can see the copper that's bits of copper, or that's the copper underlay on this bearing where the uh, aluminum or this top metal wore off and left copper showing. 
Um, some of the other main bearings, like this one, that bearing is, I mean, it's starting to go, but it's still functional. So this, this damage in this engine was not due to lack of lubrication. It wasn't due to running out of oil or no oil. It was due to detonation, just hammering these bearings and hammering the, uh, and lifting the cylinder heads off to blow the head gaskets and uh, destroying the bearings. Because the main bearings don't get take as hard a blow as the rod bearings do when you have detonation. So if you have an engine that's got a lot of damage to your rod bearings and very little damage to the mains, other than, you know, damage that's, that's caused by uh, continued destruction of the engine, you know, you're, you're really are looking at detonation. So that's it. That's a uh, motor ruined by uh, poor quality gasoline, low octane gasoline, or bad ignition timing. And uh, I'm not sure which one it was. The owner assures me he was using premium gas for as long as he had the boat. But this is a two-owner boat, so maybe, maybe the previous owner didn't use premium. I don't know. But it's also got a funky ignition system. It's a combination of uh, General Motors MEFI le uh, electronic fuel injection and a Thunderbolt distributor triggering that system. I haven't come across that before. Um, I have to do a little research to figure out how that works. I mean, I have an understanding and maybe I have a hunch of how it works, but I need to verify it and make sure. So if you uh, enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.